Hi everyone and thanks for checking out another video. Today we're going to talk about the simple interest formula. As you can see right on the screen, I equals PRT. And this simple interest formula is basically the simplest or basic formula that you can use to calculate the interest on something like a loan, an investment, and so on. So we're going to jump into this right away by looking at the formula in a little bit more detail. And if you have any questions as we do this video, go down and put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. So let's start by just identifying the different variables. As you see here is the formula I equals P times R times t. But what do those variables mean? Well, let's start by looking here. i is the interest. So we have the simple interest in this example, but i represents the interest calculated. So let's say something like interest on, if we had 10% interest on a $1,000 loan, let's say that means we're going to calculate our interest to be $100. That's the amount that is generated and added on. Afterwards, let's look at the next variable here. We have the next variable as P, and that stands for the principal. Now, it's not your principal uh, like you have in your school. It is the principal dollar amount that you are investing, you are putting into the loan, you're borrowing that money, um, so it could be deposited as well. That is the principal amount. And then beside that, we have R for R. That stands for your rate. And I want to be very careful to say here that usually uh, rate will be given to you as a percentage, but make sure that you convert that percentage into a decimal. That's really important for uh, your calculation's sake. And then when we look at the last variable T, we're talking about the term the term or the time. And what I'm going to say for my group here is the term is in years. Okay, So those are the variables in the simple interest formula, and that's what they represent. So write those down. Don't lose them. They're going to help you out a lot. And if we look at this question, I've given you an example. I'm asking you to find the interest or the simple interest on a loan with P equals to $2,000. R is 8% and T is one year. So very quickly, we know that we have a few things here. We have the principal, we have the rate, and we have the time. So I know because of those three variables that we're going to use our simple interest formula. And let's go ahead and write that down. So you're going to see here, you're going to see I equals P times R times T. And I always like to write my formula out because it tells me what I know and what I don't know. And in this case, we know that I'm looking for I or the simple interest. We know, and now I'm going to show my substitutions by putting each variable in uh, as I substituted in, in brackets. So we have 2000 as our principal dollar amount that we are um, taking out that loan. $2,000. We know that our rate our rate is 8%, but as a percentage, okay, we have to write this out in a decimal form. That is 0 decimal 0 0.8 or 8 hundredths. Okay, so you're going to see this and substitute that in, always in deci decimal form, or you can use the percent button on your calculator. Just remember to do so, though. And then your term is one year. So when you do that, all right, you're going to go ahead and do the math behind that. So I equals 2,000. You're multiplying that by um, 8 hundredths and multiplying that by 1. And your final answer here is going to be 160. But more importantly, if we're talking about interest, like you can see here, find the interest. We don't just measure interest as a number. We more specifically measure interest in a dollar amount. So that needs a final statement here and we'd say that the interest is $160. Go ahead and put a box around your final answer just so it's super easy and neat for your teacher to read. So that is the simple interest formula explained in a little bit of detail. If you have any more questions about simple interest, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.